Good evening, I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. Tonight, the school district is taking swift action following an internal investigation. Our Natasha Brown joins us from Haddonfield with details. Natasha. Well, good evening to you both. This incident has certainly led to strict consequences for the boys lacrosse team here at Haddonfield High School, and it's also left a lasting hurtful impression on those who say they witnessed it. It's unacceptable to be called it, to say it. When 16-year-old Sydney Thomas heard a hurtful racial slur being uttered to a fellow track athlete, it cut her to the core. About a week ago, the Haddon Heights High School sophomore was at Haddon Field High for a track meet. Sterling High was also participating, and it was one of their students who was targeted. One of the Sterling girls was sitting down, getting ready for her next race, putting on her shoes. When the Haddon Field boys lacrosse team um, a group of them are going to walk by her and say move n-word. She started crying along with another one of her teammates. Um, it was it was very upsetting. Sydney witnessed the racist incident and jumped into action, alerting the lacrosse coach. She describes his reaction. He really didn't do anything about it. He didn't go up to the head, the lacrosse team and told them like who said this and who did that. He didn't do any of that. The Haddonfield Public School District has now taken strict action, canceling the boys lacrosse season. In a statement, the district details that it has also reached out to the NAACP and Anti-Defamation League for training, and it will also be implementing diversity and sensitivity training for students, staff, and coaches. I think other high schools might be looking at what, what is Haddonfield going to do with this incident, and uh, Haddonfield has set, set the standard. For Sydney, she says sadly enough she's been called a racial slur before in her own school setting. She's standing up and speaking out, saying enough is enough. I don't want to make it seem like it's okay. Action should be taken for things that somebody else said. For things that you wanted to say, I feel like consequences to come. Well, part of that statement from the Haddonfield, Pu Haddonfield Public School District says there is no room for hate of any kind at Haddonfield schools and it will not be tolerated. It is not who we are. It does not represent our student body. Now, this incident has also been referred to the state attorney general's office for review. We're live here in Haddonfield tonight. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.